In this video, we're going to show you how to access your Market Center's shared templates. So the first thing I did is I went to Command and of course went to my Opportunity and the Documents. In this example, I'm going to show you from writing a purchase contract working with one of my buyers. So I'm under contract. This is where I'm eventually going to put my residential contract. I used this link here to start a transaction which created my room in DocuSign. So here in DocuSign, it created and copied the information from my opportunity here for the name, which is just a test one I'm doing today. And I've already added my purchase contract. So if you aren't sure how to do that and add your details, um, check out our previous videos for that as well. I did come to the details screen and make sure I put in some information because when we go to the template, if you do not have the buyers and the sellers and everybody you need in this section, you won't have them as an option to choose when it comes to matching the pre-tagged roles. So here I am in documents. Here's my purchase contract. Now, you do not access your office contracts by coming here to DocuSign and the forms or zip forms. So the office forms are not here. These will be your state forms that we have in. So to access the templates, you need to create an envelope and really you need to do the DocuSign part. So I've got an as is contract I want to fill in and I'm going to add my office's buyer's disclosure forms to that. So I'm going to click here for DocuSign. This is going to package it together and create what we call an envelope to have these files here. This is how you're going to get to your Market Center templates. So here is the document I've added. I can view it here, the as is contract. You should have already filled it in in the previous screen for the data entry part. And here I'm going to come to use a template. This is where all of your Market Center forms are going to live once your Market Center has got them uploaded. If yours is blank today, your Market Center may not have gotten them in the system and shared it with you just yet. That is going to take every Market Center some time. In the event you do not have the option of DocuSign or Zip Forms, your Market Center can start working on some local forms for you. So I'm going to say use a template and you're going to see an option for shared with me. These will be all the forms that were shared with your Market Center. So I've got a couple in here that I've been testing out and I've already made these fillable with our Market Center. And all I have to do is add them to my thing. So I'm going to add our buyer's disclosure. <clears throat> we also have a title company disclosure I need to add as well. So I'm going to add these two forms from my market center. And let's see, that should be there. Yep, that's the right one. I'm going to say add selected. So I've got my original form and now I'm adding the additional forms as well. I can view here. This is the one from our title alliance one of our agreements that I'm going to have my buyer sign. And I've also got an option here of a simple disclosure that just talks about our buyers and some information for them. So I've got these three documents together. You would give your envelope a name. So I might just say purchase contract, contract, and then an address, 123 Main Street, as an example. Now we get to the most important part. To make these forms fillable and signable, we need to click Add Recipient and choose Pre-Tagged Roles. So when I come here, you'll notice it's going to ask for everyone for Buyer 1 and for Seller 1. This is how it's going to fill it in. So Buyer 1, I've already added as something here. So my Buyer 1 is going to be Mickey Mouse. My Seller 1, 2 is going to be Buyer 2. is going to be Minnie Mouse. And Seller 1, I just added their name. So for this example, I've got Donald Duck and Seller 2 as Daisy Duck just for data entry. They're not going to sign. Add selected. This is going to now, and it's okay, some of these are invalid email addresses because these are blank. So I guess I'll just remove that for now. We'll come back and edit that. So I've got my templates. Now I need to add my people. So we're going to say add recipient. Let's do this again. Next, we need to add our people to this. So we're going to come to Add Recipient and choose Pre-Tagged Roles. If you do not choose Pre-Tagged Roles, you have to add every signature box and every field yourself. So choose Pre-Tagged Roles. This is going to ask me now, I'm only representing the buyer, so I'm only going to fill in Buyer 1 and Buyer 2. So I've already added them under the Details section in the previous screen. So I will see here is my Buyer 1 is Mickey Mouse with an email address. And my buyer two is Minnie Mouse with an email address as well. And I'm going to add selected. 
So this is going to have my two together. Um, if it's set at a one, they both get it at the same time. If you want Mickey to sign first and then have buyer two sign it, you would just change this to one and a two, meaning Mickey has to complete everything. And when he's done, it will then package it together and send it to Minnie to view the signatures. And it's then her turn to sign. So I've got those there. You would give it an email subject, one, two, three, Main Street and put a message in here. So please review and sign the purchase contract for 500,000 or 250,000, whatever it is, you just put your message. When I click the next button, this is where you're gonna see these forms are fillable. So I've added my templates. Notice the difference, blue template for form, and then the blue template is the one from the market centers that they've already created, or it would be your own templates. So when I click on next, it is going to take me into the DocuSign part of the system. This is where I'm going to verify all the boxes and things Mickey and Minnie need to sign. So when I come in here, you're going to notice on the left hand side, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse are here. This is the color coding. So Mickey is yellow and Minnie is blue if I need to bring any fields in. And I'm going to see that these are already filled in. So that's the state contract. I expected those boxes to be there. But let's go to the market center forms and verify that that one's correct. So when I come down to the market center forms, da -da -da, here we go. This is great. So the market center already created this. Here's that form they uploaded for me. Full name will come in for Mickey Mouse and there'll be one for Minnie Mouse in the buyer section. I've also got signature boxes for buyer one and buyer two, which is great. So that way it's all done and filled in. Here is my buyer disclosure form. There's my box for my buyer one and there's a box for buyer two. Again, same thing at the bottom, putting it in here. So this just did it automatically, which I love. If you do that pre-tagged roles, then it will automatically bring these fields in. In the event anything is wrong or need to add something, you would just grab a field, bring it over from the left-hand side. Now, I like doing a preview of these. So if you do recipient preview, I could come in here and see, okay, what would Mickey Mouse actually see on his screen when I send this? So this will show you a demo of what Mickey Mouse is gonna click on and sign. And this is great to say, hey, let me make sure this works, okay. I see here, you're not really signing, you're just showing them that they can sign. So I'm gonna go through the as-is contract really quick for purchase, and then I'm gonna to get to those forms we created for the state. So look, it added Mickey's name, and it let me sign for Mickey Mouse there, which is great. So that's already done there, and it shows me that this, my office forms are automatically filled in and perfect. So that's what Mickey will see, and if I wanna see what Minnie will see, I would click here and do the same thing to see if the ones for Minnie are all correct. So it's in the buyer two box. I'm gonna initial everything I need to. Remember, this is just an example. You're not really digitally signing anything. You're just showing them or for yourself, making sure is this the right box. Same thing here like we had with Mickey. All the fields are perfect, but in there, I've got my buyer one, my buyer two, and everything is all filled in. And that is done. So when I'm ready, I would just click the send button. That is how you're going to access your state contracts or your office contracts or anything that you need from the templates. Remember, I'm going to come back here and we always want to use the templates for inside of there. So you're going to say use a template and come to shared and that's going to be what's shared with you from your market center. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.